Fascism causes paranoia. Paranoia doesn't cause fascism. Pay your taxes, shut up, or else. Welcome back to War Games. I am your host, Rich Jonesy. Today is a moment to stay in American history as we usher in a new president unlike any we've seen before. Madam Evergreen, how did you lose to that farmer? He's not a farmer, he's in real estate. You need to take action. Everyone knows the fat man needs to go. Why don't we accuse him of being gay? Great idea. And if it was 1952, it might actually work. Nowadays, it would get him elected. What about a plague? What about a plague? I remember when journalism was a respected industry. We'll get through this. That's when the average person didn't mind thinking so much. They used to fight for their gods. Now we fight for our goods. I guess all you gotta do is add an O. They're in the business of keeping the business broken. They wanna shut us up! Our government is a republic, okay? It's always been a republic. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Hello. My lady, we have our next candidate for the upcoming presidential election. So, where is he? Oh. Ta-da. He's still alive? Since when do you care about the American way? The human way. A sense of selfhood, of individualism. You know, or freedom, for lack of a better word. If you're craving pie, you go out and you get some pie. Pie? You know the 42% of American adults are obese now? We have it completely under control. It is going to be fine. <laughs>